All I can say is, I'm sorry. What about those men you killed? You can't just apologize that way. Those men were scumbags. Every last one of them tried to kill me, or somebody else, before I killed them. The world's a better place without them. That's just what the news said. But you don't know how the thing warps your mind, twists your judgment. Actually, I think I do. You do? All I ever wanted to do was clean up the town a little. When that didn't quite work, I made up this plan to save my career. We both know how that turned out. I got it! We'll form a partnership! A what? You're afraid to keep it yourself, which makes sense. The fact is, it's too dangerous to entrust to any one person, right? Right. Here, this is the only key to that drawer. Now, if I ever think that the mask can be useful, I'll have to contact you to get at it. And if you think I'm wrong, just don't give me the key, which makes us partners. Well... Trust me, Kathy. This thing is too valuable to just throw into the river. Now, how about some dinner? And make sure he don't put too much mayonnaise on it this time. The last time he piled on so much, I nearly puked. Yeah, yeah. Not enough mayonnaise. Too much mayonnaise. I swear, that guy gives me a real pain. Try to look at this from my perspective. I was led to believe that you were under Mr. Sincini's employ. I would never have put a contract out on you if I'd known that you were still one of us. So far as I can see, my only error was doubting your loyalty. That and hiring a lousy killer. Freeze! Mister! Now, you just get your hands up where we can see him, okay? Uh, thank you. Hey there, Lionel. Mind if I clean out my desk? Uh, no. Come on in. Listen. Listen. Me first, okay? I just want to say I'm sorry for the things I said to you on the steps last week. I haven't been myself lately. Things just got out of control, as I'm sure you've noticed. Ah, uh, forget about it. Happens to all of us. But take a look at this. We found it on Bonneville's body. You heard he was killed, right? Sure. What's the big deal? Lister must hand out hundreds of these. But that's Lister's home phone number written on there. I'm keeping my eye on that skunk. Maybe you're not officially a cop anymore, but you want me to call you if anything weird happens? Yeah, let me know what you find. I want to thank you for meeting us on such short notice, Judge Daly. Anything to save the taxpayers' money. Now let's get down to business. Your Honor, the District Attorney's Office feels the grand jury's indictment was overly harsh. In spite of the defendant's prior convictions, we are anxious to avoid a lengthy and potentially unjust trial. My client is lucky to be alive, and probably wouldn't be if he hadn't acted as he did. However, he has decided to plead guilty to criminally negligent homicide, and relies on the wisdom of the court for a fair sentence. Yes, yes, perhaps a light sentence is indicated. I think one and a half to three years. The DA recommends early release, Your Honor. Duly noted, Mr. Lister. Be sure to inform the police department of the results of this session. Of course, Your Honor. If I keep getting home this late, I'm gonna have to quit my job. Well, what do you know? Someone called. Kathy, this is Lieutenant Kellaway. I just got a call from Lionel, and there's a rat bastard I've gotta take care of right away. This is really important, so call me as soon as you get home. He sure sounded angry. Good thing I've still got the key to that drawer. Now he's had time to cool off. Think about it for a while. I'm sure I can talk him out using the masks. I am beat. Can't wait to get home and sink into the old jacuzzi. Hmm. What's better driving music? George Michael or Robert Craig? Well, well, if it ain't Mr. Lister, the human blister. Ah! Quite a cruising machine you got here, pal. You know what BMW stands for? Break my window! I know you're a very busy man, but you'll make time for me, won't you? Somebody help me! He's gonna kill me! Help! Come on, come on, get the lead out! I repeat, the big head murderer has been cited. Request substantial backup. Hey, swank office! Now, let's get down to business, shall we? Here's what we know, Captain. Big Head's taken the assistant DA hostage, and it looks like he's roughed him up some, which proves he ain't such a bad guy after all. You're a regular riot, Lionel. No shortage of laughs with you around. All right, Big Head, we know you're in there. We'll give you 60 seconds to come out. Then we're coming in after you. Hey, if you're in such a hurry, there's a John down at City Hall too, you know. What's this all about? What do you think you're gonna find? You know, Stevie, for a lawyer, you're a pretty damn awful liar. Where can it be? Where can it be? Okay, okay. So you guessed it before I did, so what? You want some kind of prize or something? Jeez. 
Oh, now this really burns me up, Steve. Taking advantage of my patriotism like this? Uh, that's not mine. No, no, the previous tenant must have installed it. Never even knew about it. Certainly have no idea what the combination might be. Combination? I don't need no stinking combination. Where the hell did that come from? Recent loss of two favored employees leaves us highly motivated to hire a new, uh, let us say, insurance adjuster. I believe you'll find our benefits to be highly competitive. Hey, you can't go in there. Don Mazo, I've got to talk to you. Well, now that you've interrupted, what is so important? I'm sorry, but it's the assistant DA. The police radio says he's been taken hostage in his own office. Well, that's what this city has police for, no? But Don, he's helped us so much getting Rapaz out. And now with Walter, we're not just going to turn our backs on him, are we? Why not? Then he look, the next assistant DA will be a little less expensive. Alright, get ready to cover me. Yeah, yeah like, like these, these guns, guns are gonna, are gonna scare, scare him. him. Freeze! What the frig? Hey, this is the jump me and the lieutenant seized in the Rapez bust. What's it doing here? And maybe you can tell me where all this cash came from, Lister. Will I find all the answers in this little notebook? You think it might be some elaborate setup? I mean, you know what Big Head is capable of. Well... I suppose that's a possibility. Did you see my notebook? All the appointments I made with Don Mazo and his lawyers? That's my handwriting. I'm guilty. Lock me up and throw away the key. Feed me bread and water. But I don't think so. Only please get that maniac away from me! And you have me to thank, gentlemen. Please, hold back your applause. I know you'd like to show your appreciation, but I can think of a far more constructive outlet for it. This Lieutenant Galloway, he's a good guy, but you've really been giving him the shaft of late. I'm not saying he's perfect, but then, who is? Maybe you put in a good word for him with the Commissioner. Try and get the old boy reinstated. I'd consider that an awfully nice gesture. Alright, boys. Immolate the son of a bitch! You know something, guys? I've always felt... Guns are stressed far too much in our culture. How about you? I asked you little pussy the fucking question! He, he just stood there. All those guns did nothing. Isn't that what me and Kellaway told you? Did you think we were lying? Kellaway, that's right. He knows all about this guy. Why don't we call him? Because you fired him, remember? Never tried vehicular assault on this guy before. Might as well give it a shot. Look, I had to order those men to shoot at you. It's my job to enforce the law. I thought your job was taste tester down at Donut Fair. And it looks like you've been putting in too much overtime. Ah! Come back here, you flabby eunuch. <laughs> yeah, you're a regular hard guy with all your weapons. But I want to see how you measure up with your fist. That is, if you're man enough. Ah! Man enough? Man enough? I'll show you who's man enough! Think you're tough, big man! Let's see how tough you are. Good God. What am I doing? You just let me handle this my way. Trust me, this guy's nothing but trouble. Oh. No, it's you! You're nothing but trouble! Damn it, Kellaway! I know you're in there! I want my mask back and none of your fast-talking bull this time. You obviously won't accept it, but that thing is too dangerous for anybody to own. So I'm gonna put it someplace where no one will ever get at it again. Not even you. <laughs>